Hey YouTube, Big the Norfolk Chili Head coming back to you today once again with another hot sauce review. This is a very special one today. This was sent to me from a subscriber all the way over in the US of A in Texas. Uh, this was sent to me by Ty Danford. So Ty, thank you very much once again uh, for sending me these awesome looking sauces. If you haven't already watched my unboxing video, then I'll put an annotation at the end of this video. So go check it out uh, if you haven't already watched that. Uh, but this is the first of the two sauces that he sent me, which I'm going to be trying today. And this one looks like it's going to be the milder of the two, the sort of a more standard version of this sauce. Um, it's called Sasso Hot Sauce, and this is a chili pequin sauce. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, it's not a term that we really see much here in the UK, so I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, but this looks, to all intents and purposes, kind of like, kind of like a, a very classic kind of hot sauce. Uh, Ingredients-wise, we've got tomato sauce, water, onion, extra virgin olive oil, vinegar, chili pequin, garlic, arabic gum, xanthan gum, salt and spices. So lots of classic uh, sort of ingredients and flavours going on in there with the garlic, the tomato, uh, the onion, stuff that you see in a lot of hot sauces. But Ty does say that this is one of his favourites, so I'm really interested to check this out. Always really grateful when uh, a subscriber or a company sends me stuff uh, no matter where they're from, because they're taking their own time and their own money. Uh, you know, sending stuff from the US is not cheap, uh, and vice versa. So, um, you know, I really appreciate this, and they're very hard to come by, these American sources here in the UK. It's not often that you can find a lot of them. Um, so, really looking forward to trying it, as I say. Um, it looks fantastic. It's not um, a th particularly thin sauce. It looks like it's got quite a bit of body to it, although it's still flowing quite well. Um, but you've got lots of Certainly lots of seeds going on in there, and uh, lots of, I'm guessing that must be a lot of tomato um, flesh and pulp in there as well. So it looks tasty. I can see some little herbs and spices maybe floating around in there too. So it looks really good. Uh, it says you can use it with eggs, tacos, guacamole, nothing so-so with Sasso. <laughs> and uh, if you want to check them out, they're at sassosources.com. So without further ado, let's get this open and see what we've got. Mmm, smells nice. <laughs> definitely tomato -y and definitely garlicky. Maybe a bit of bite to it, sort of coming from maybe a bit of sweetness from the onions and maybe it's a, some sort of, yeah, vinegar. There's a little bit of vinegar, but, but not too much. Mostly I'm just getting to tomato and, and garlic and maybe some spices as well. It smells really nice. And this one has three out of five on their little heat scale here. So, should be a nice kind of medium heat to it. And yeah, it flows really well, but it's not particularly thin. It does have body to it. There's lots of chunks in here that I can see. Looks really good. Okay, well, Ty, once again, thank you very much. Let's get this down the hatch and see what we think. Hmm. Mmm, that's very good. Very, very nice indeed. And uh, it's actually got a pretty decent burn to it. Um, it's definitely going for the back of the throat, going to the lips straight away, slowly spreading. It's nothing insane, but it's it's definitely got a decent burn to it. Really nice tomato flavour, and the body of the sauce is really nice. You can tell that there's lots of tomato flesh in there, which really gives it a kind of a feeling of freshness, you know, with all of that natural tomato in there. Definitely lots of garlic as well, which is really, really good for me. I love my garlic, as you may have seen from some of my previous videos. I love a nice garlicky flavour, so that's really good for me as well. It's kind of got a bit of bite to it, and I'm just trying to figure out what that is. I mean, it says that there's seasonings in there, so maybe that's maybe coming from maybe some black pepper or something. There's some spices in there too, although it doesn't say what they are. Um, but I'm guessing that's where this kind of spicy kind of bite is coming from. Uh, there's a bit of sweetness there as well from the onion. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like the aroma suggests. Lots of tomato and lots of garlic. And it's really very nice, and I'm going to go back for a little bit more. I totally agree with the suggestions of serving this uh, on the bottle. It would be great with tacos, great with eggs in the morning. I'm definitely going to be trying that one. And yeah, it says making make some, some guacamole with it as well. That's I wouldn't have thought of that myself, but I can see why it would definitely work. 
Mm. Lots of seeds to crunch down on. I'm guessing that's not just chili seeds, it's probably from the tomatoes as well. But this is a really, really tasty sauce. Lots of uses for it. I'm having pizza tonight. I'm going to put some of this on my pizza. I think that would go really, really well. Give it a nice bit of warmth <laughs> and flavour too. Uh, so yeah, on the flavour scale, I would probably give this a probably, I'd say a solid 8 out of 10. It's a really tasty sauce. Like I say, I love the garlicky notes and the tomato has a real kind of freshness to it. And it's rounded out with some nice spices as well, which really all work well together with a little bit of sweetness as well coming from that onion. Really tasty sauce. Heat scale. Um, this is a sort of medium to hot sauce, I would say. This is approaching the, the, the hotter levels, I would say. I'd probably give this on the heat scale maybe about a 6 out of 10. It, it's, it's certainly, I can feel it. I can still feel it, you know. And, um, you know, I've, I've had a fair bit, but, you know, having a lot of this, you definitely feel a nice little burn going on. So I can only assume that the next one that I have to try from, from Thai, which is the, the next one up in this range of sauces, if you like, I can imagine that's going to be a little bit hotter. So, um, fantastic. I really like this sauce, and it's not going to last very long, because I'm going to be having it on my eggs, on my pizza, and everything in between. So, thanks a lot to Thai for this Thai. I, I really appreciate it, and um, it's a really, really tasty sauce, and I can see why you like it so much. It's got lots of uses for this, very versatile. Lots of things you can do with it, put it on a burger, hot dogs, steaks, um, you, you know, your barbecue, chicken, sandwiches, and all of the stuff that it says on the bottle as well. So, really great sauce, and um, thanks for that. I'm looking forward to trying the next one now. So, thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Peter Norfolk Chili Head, and I will see you all very soon, once again, with another sauce from Ty Danford. Catch you later.